This is Renee Romeo and today I'm going to show you the art of napkin folding. And it really isn't that difficult, it's just a few simple steps and honestly you'll be able to wow any of your dinner party guests into thinking that you spent hours and hours of time putting these little arrangements together. So let's get started. Now here's a gorgeous way to present a napkin to one of your guests. Uh, it's really a simple way of folding uh, the napkin and honestly it looks a little different whether you use a plain napkin or if you use a pattern napkin. So now that I have a plain one for you to see, let me show you what it looks like on a, a pattern napkin. So I have my pattern napkin and this is a stripe and it's really especially nice to view this being folded as a stripe so you can see the direction the fabric is being folded. So the, it's, it's face side down and I do have a steam iron and I also have some spray starch and if you don't have a steam iron you need a little extra oomph uh, to get these folds to set nicely go ahead and fill an old bottle with some water and you can spray your water onto your napkin as you go but I've got a really nice uh, steam iron here and so I'm just going to show you on this so basically you need to have a really nice flat napkin uh, get all of the wrinkles out of it after you've washed it and let's get folding so first thing you'll do is take your two corners and you're going to fold your two corners to the middle and then you're going to take your other two corners and also fold those to the middle so everything is being lined up to the center of the napkin now these points that you're making here on the sides they really do matter as to where that is and you know what most napkins are not a, a perfect square so you're going to have to finesse this just a little bit just to get it to lay in place now give it a nice spray and go ahead and put those beautiful creases into the napkin now you can also do this as a more casual way is to not press it is just to leave the napkin as is and use it from there so now we're just going to go ahead and use these existing points and pull all of these into the center as well just like so, having them meet in the middle. Go ahead, give it another spray with your spray starch, and go ahead and get all of this ironed down nicely in place. Okay, and it really is going to be just this simple. So we're just going to go ahead and flip it over. Bring it in again. And you'll see, I'm bringing everything to the center here. Everything is being made, brought into the center. Go ahead and press that in place. Okay, and now what you wind up with, and you can see how these little points all come together, and it's kind of nice when you have the stripes in there. So you're going to take your left hand, you're going to put pressure on the center, and then you're going to reach underneath the corner points and pull it out. Now the really cool thing is you can take your other finger and push the little petal down and pull this out. So you'll see it's already working here. Pull this out. And pull this out and it looks gorgeous. So it doesn't take much pressure. You'll see I have this perfectly lined up. You can see with the stripes really makes a giant difference. So whether you have this version, which is more formal, or you have a casual version, and actually you can put this on a plate like so. And let's say you've got Christmas coming and you want to do something with a little pine cone in the center. It looks gorgeous. Now this is a lotus flower that's actually been turned into a cabbage rose. So let me take you through the steps on how to do this. It's basically the same procedure. So I, on this one I have a nice white uh, napkin that I'll go ahead and I'll do the same procedure with. Getting everything to meet in the middle and pressing it.
And so let's try something a little bit different. Let's take this and push this into the center. And get this all pressed into place. But on the third time, I won't press it. And we'll see what happens uh, to the look of the flower if I don't press it on the third try. So now, when you get to this point, you've already done this twice, you're going to flip this over, and then you're going to take your corners again, and you're going to bring them into the center. Now you could press it, but you don't have to. We're going to try to not do it. And then we're going to pull each one of these out, and again, taking that finger and making sure that your little petal is being pressed down in the center. So now we have a smaller lotus flower. And then what we do is we're going to sneak underneath here and we're going to pull out the tips underneath. And you'll see, this is so adorable. I love this. Look at how gorgeous that is. And let's try putting this in a bowl and see what happens. So now there is your cabbage rose. Looks beautiful, sitting on the table. Just gorgeous. Now this is my favorite all-time napkin fold. It's called the clamshell. And this looks so gorgeous on a table, I can't even tell you. When you have all of your guests that have these, you know, stuffed in a coffee cup or a glass, it looks fantastic. So let me take you through the steps here. And I'm going to give you a close-up on this one in the end because you really do need an up-close tutorial on that. I don't want you to miss anything. Okay, so here you'll see a lot of napkins have one corner finished. Um, these are really a, an, an old set of napkins. Uh, it's probably my great aunt set, and, uh, and it's a linen. So depending on what kind of fabric you use, the look of the clamshell is going to be slightly different. And it's, it doesn't matter if it's patterned or if it has only one corner finished, it's going to look great. So you're just going to take your existing edge and you're going to fold it over to the middle point of the napkin and so these two are going to meet directly in the middle and it is imperative with this one that you have some spray starch on hand if you don't your clamshell isn't going to be nice and crisp looking and you're really going to fight uh, pulling out all of the little tips in the end that you need so that's folded over now you're going to take the top and you're going to fold it over to the bottom so you're making just a long rectangle out of this and again, you're going to go ahead and press this. From this point, find the midpoint right to left and put a finger there and then just fold this over so that you can find the halfway point. And again, we're going to just press it this time. It doesn't need to be starched at this point. So, you're going to take about an inch measurement. Now, my thumb is about an inch <laughs> from tip to knuckle, so this is what the measurement that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to fold this back on itself. And so if you've ever done anything like an accordion pleat, um, this is all you're going to be doing. And I'm just going back and forth until I reach the end. And the one inch measurement is the measurement that you want because um, it'll get you to the end of your napkin in just the right spot. There, and I've reached the end, and I'm just going to go ahead and press this. And then I'll flip it over and do the same thing until I get to the other end, and just keep going back and forth making sure that you're using spray starch, at least every other pleat, if not every pleat.
So now that this is all accordion pleated, we're going to grab it from one end and we're going to check and see which end to grab it from. So this one is all closed. Everything's been uh, folded together, but this end you'll see has two layers. So you want the side with the two layers. And you're going to hold this up from the bottom and it's basically your clamshell already. And you're going to take this and you're going to reach inside each one of these V's and you're going to pull this down and kind of pinch it. And you'll see, pull and pinch and reach inside the next V and pinch it down. So you'll see what I'm creating here after reaching into every one of these V's. Do you see where I'm going with this? Okay, that's one side. Let's flip it to the other side. Now anywhere you see an inverted V, you're going to go ahead and pull it out. Pull it out, and you'll kind of see already what's going on here. Pull it out, pinch it, pull it and pinch it, pull it and pinch it. And now, when you open this up, this is what you're going to get, and you can actually play with it a little bit if you need to. And you'll see, this is my corner here that I had the pattern, and if you put it in a glass, um, it's really going to look cute with just that one little peak of pattern sticking out from either side, no matter which way you do it. It's just gorgeous. So however you choose to go, you can put a little embellishment in the center of these, depending on the occasion, um, a little bit of greenery, or whatever you can imagine. It's going to look great. So I hope you've learned something new, and I hope that you won't just go ahead and grab one of those little napkin rings from now on. It's not too much more trouble to do something like this, and your table is going to look so much better as a result. And I know your dinner guests are going to really appreciate the extra effort. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. This is Renee Romeo. Thank you so much for watching.